cannot walk alone. We know it well that none of us acting alone can achieve success. A grand and global alliance, north and south, east and west, will you join in that historic effort? People made their voices heard on Sunday around the world, and the momentum will not stop. But now it is your turn. The time to answer humankind's greatest challenge is now. I have felt very overwhelmed by climate change um, and just the immensity of this issue, and I feel like I do have an obligation. Couple that into the backside, 540. Gretchen, wow. huge frontside, 900 landed. All well, the, the 2006 Olympic be? silver medalist, a 94.25. Being a professional snowboarder who travels around the world year round chasing the snow, I was seeing the effects of climate change firsthand. I started to see our winters just shift and change. There was so much snow when we first moved there that we would literally have avalanche danger days. And these days, it's just, it's not the case. This very week, the city that I went to college in, uh, Chennai, is underwater. We've had a flood, uh, it's, been, it's been rainfall that's not been seen in the last hundred years. A drastic change from extreme to even worse as California suffers an unprecedented drought. This is climate change. This drastic weather is climate change. The climate sign is the peace sign of our time. When we raise the climate sign, we unite for climate action. I raise the climate sign for my four-year-old daughter. For all of us to get together in America and the world as one and take on the healing of the planet. We don't engage everyone in the effort to do this. We're not going to succeed. So my mission, my hope, is to engage all young people, people across all societies, to find that common purpose. I thought, well, I'm working on this problem for my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. And then I started realizing that I was really working on this for my children. And then in more recent years, I recognized that in fact I'm working on this for myself. We have no choice but to go forward. <laughs> When we unite for the earth, we are undefeatable. And so basically the goal was to, to get the climate sign initially out there and mm -hmm. build up um, some use of the climate sign before COP21. So, China quite When we unite the world, we can take it on. From Stephen to Sunday, come on. Raise the climate sign. <laughs> I'm here at the Eiffel Tower. Lights are going up. Lighting up the sky. And as far as the climate sign goes, it's had incredible outreach. Al Gore raising the sign, Jane Goodall. Sylvia Earle and so many NGO leaders. The thing that really struck me the most was um, a quote that I heard at a conference or some words that I heard, um, which were, you know, the, the, the text of the agreement really means nothing unless people believe that it means something. And it's the belief in climate action and this change in our mentality as a society that is the most profound, our global society, because we are all on this small planet together and our actions affect everyone else who lives here.
whether we choose to act on climate or not, it has an effect on climate. What we need is climate action and the climate sign will make that easier for people, I hope, going forward to take that first step into engagement. And that's, um, we'll see where it goes from here, but I'm excited and I look forward to uniting with you, dear viewer, towards a bright shared future for all.